Hi, welcome back. Today I will completely solve the MCQs of civil engineering past paper conducted for the post of sub engineer. Let's get started. In question number one, it is given that concrete mainly consists of option number A is binding material, option B is aggregate, option C is water, and option D is all of these. Concrete mainly consists on a binding material that is cement used in concreting so the binding material is a correct option let's look at to the another option yes the aggregate fine aggregate and coarse aggregate are also used in concrete so the correct option is also b c the water is required to wet the surface of aggregate yes it is also the correct option so option d is all of these so the correct option is all of these and question number two it is given that difference in plain concrete and reinforced concrete is due to option a is water content option b is strength option c is reinforcement and option d is cement we know that the pcc is simple concrete by definition it is cement water and fine aggregate and coarse aggregate while rcc is while rcc is pcc plus reinforcement the only difference between the pcc plain cement concrete and reinforced cement concrete is that of reinforcement so the correct option is reinforcement in question number 3 it is given that in simple supported beam the point where the shear force is zero the bending moment will be option a is maximum option b is minimum and option c is zero option d is negative for better understanding let's solve one beam numerical example quickly let's suppose if we have a simple supported beam and a point load is applied at the mid of this beam l is the span of this beam the support reaction at point a will be w divided by 2 and at point b will be w divided by 2 at point a the shear force will be w divided by 2 from a to c there is no load the shear force will be constant at point c there is a downward force that is w so w by 2 minus w will be equal to minus w divided by 2 at point c we will be having a negative shear force the value of shear force will be changing from positive to one negative at point c the shear force will be minus w divided by 2 and there is no load between c and b so there will be a constant shear force of minus w divided by 2 at point b we are having applied load that that is w divided by 2 and the shear force is w divided by 2 at point b the shear force is 0 this distance is l by 2 let's find out the bending moment diagram at support a and b the bending moment is 0 calculate the area of this rectangle that is w by 2 and the base is l by 2 w l divided by 4 at mid point the bending moment will be maximum that is w l divided by 4 this will be a linear line at this point the shear force is zero but the bending moment is maximum the correct option is the point where the shear force is zero the bending moment will be maximum the correct option is option a question number four Aggregate entirely passing sieve number 4 or dash aggregate. Option A is coarse aggregate. Option B is fine aggregates. Option C is combine of A and B. Option D is organic. The sieve number is the number of opening per linear inch. A sieve number 4 has a 4 holes per linear inch. The size of the sieve number 4 is 4.75 mm. The coarse aggregate material retained on the sieve number 4 while the fine aggregate material passing from a sieve number 4 that is 4.75 mm. So it is asked that aggregate passing through sieve number 4 are fine aggregate, coarse aggregate, combined of these or organic. So the correct option is those aggregate which passes from sieve number 4 is fine aggregate. The correct option is B. Question number 5. Dash pipes are suitable for acidic and alkaline water. Option A is plastic. Option B is copper. Option C is steel. 
option d is none consider a plastic pipes plastic pipes are consist on the rubber and pvc pipes and these pipes are used for the supply of water acidic and alkaline water such pipes are not rusted and it is very cheap consider a copper pipes they are a high resistance to acidic and alkaline water since copper do not admit rust so these pipes are durable however as a copper is costly therefore they are used in limited places these types of pipes are generally used to carry hot water or steam they do not even bend or sag at high temperature let's consider the steel pipe the steel pipe admit rust due to the acidic and alkaline water so this is incorrect the correct option is plastic pipes in question number six it is given that the recommended ph value of the portable water is option a is 6.5 to 8 option b is 9 to 10 option c is 0 and option d is 14 so the recommended value for the ph for the portable water is 6.5 to 8 the correct option is 8 in question number 7 it is given that a time period for which a particle of water remain in a settling tank is called option a is remaining period option b is detaining period option c is detention period and option d is none it's a detention time that is the time the water spent in a sedimentation or settling tank the correct option is detention period in question number eight it is given that the inner curve of an arch is called option a is hunch option b is intradose option c is extradose and option d is soffit the inner curve of an arch is called intradose the inner surface of an arch is called soffit let's consider an arch it is the crown of the arch it is a skew bag the lower half of the arch between the crown and skew bag is called hunch the correct option is the inner curve of an arch is intradose so option number b is correct in question number nine it is given that the steel bar length required for a standard hook or 90 degree bend is option a is 3d option b is 6d option c is 9d and option d is 12d for 90 degree bend the extra line taken for the bend is 9d where d is the dia of the bar used so the correct option is 9d in question number 10 it is given that the purpose of bend up bar and beam is to resist a bending moment option b is shear force option c is twisting moment and option d is all of these option a is bending moment the bend up bar at a support resist the negative moment let's consider this is a beam at near the support consider this is a bend up bar the bend up bar at support resists the negative bending moment option b is the shear force the bend up bar at support resists the shear force and option number c is the twisting moment it is also correct so the correct option is all of these in question number 11 it is given that the concrete is very strong dash but weak and dash option a is tension and compression option b is compression and extension option c is compression and tension and option d is none in order to study the properties of a concrete let's consider a beam and a point load applied at the center of this beam the bend shape of the beam will be look like that the upper portion of the beam will be in compression while the downward portion of the beam will be in tension so the concrete is strong in compression but weak in tension that's why we use reinforcement in the lower section of the beam in order to resist the tension force so concrete is very strong in compression but weak in tension the correct option is c question number 12 ratio of cement concrete used for ordinary rcc reinforced cement concrete work is for ordinary rcc work one ratio two ratio four we are one part of cement two part of fine aggregate and four part of coarse aggregate is used generally it is called m15 grades of concrete the correct option is one ratio two ratio four 
that is option number C. And question number 13, the diameter of bar number 8 is, option A is 1 inch, option B is 0.79 inch square, option C is 1 square inch, and option D is 0.5 inch. Bar number 8 means 8 divided by 8. The dia of the bar is 1 inch. The correct option is option number A. The dia of number 8 bar is 1 inch. Question number 14. The ACI load factor for the dead and live load are dash respectively. Option A is 1.2 and 1.4. Option B is 1.2, 1.6. Option C is 1.6, 1.4 and option D is 1.6 and 1.2. According to the American Concrete Institute ACI, building code requirement for the structure concrete ACI 318, the load factor for the dead load is 1.2 time of the dead load plus 1.6 time of the live load. The correct option is option number B. In question number 15, it is given that the tensile force that occur in RCC beam is the tensile force in RCC and steel is equal to AS and to FY where AS is the area of steel and FY is the yield strength of a steel. Consider a beam section. These are the reinforcement in the lower section. This will be the strength distribution diagram of the beam section and the stress distribution diagram will be look like the tension in the steel is AS multiply FY where at the top is the compression of concrete that is 0.85 time of the FC prime where A is the depth of the stress block. So the correct option is AS into FY. The correct option is option number A. In question number 16, the value of strength reduction factor for the flexor beam design is option A is 0.9, option B is 0.65, option C is 0.75, option D is 1. In order to introduce the factor of safety in the design, we introduce a factor that is strength reduction factor in the design to reduce the actual strength of the structure member. The tensile control section such as beams and slabs, the strength reduction factor according to the ACI will be 0.9. For compression control section such as columns and footings, the strength reduction factor for spiral reinforcement is 0.75, for non-spiral is 0.6. For shear and torsion section, the strength reduction factor is 0.75. So the correct option is for the flexure control section, the strength reduction factor is 0.9. In question number 17, it is given that initial setting time of ordinary Portland cement not be less than dash minutes. Option A is 60 minutes. Option B is 45 minutes. Option C is 30 minutes. And option D is 20 minutes. The correct option is option number C, that is 30 minutes. In question number 18, it is given that which of the load are basic load to consider in the design of RCC building. Dead load, option B is live load, option C is both A and B, and option D is none of these. For the design of RCC buildings, we are consider the dead load and live load together. The dead load or the permanent load which results from the weight of the structure itself or from the other permanent attachment. While the live load refers to a load that can change over time such as people are walking around in the building etc. The correct option is option number C. In question number 19, it is given that ratio of change in length to original length is option A is stress, option B is strain, option C is bulk modulus, option D is modulus of rigidity. The ratio of change in length divided by original length is called strain. The correct option is strain, option number B. Question number 20. Maximum number of steps in a flight of a stair is option A is 10, option B is 12, option C is 15, and option D is 20. The maximum number of steps in a flight should be restricted to 12. The correct option is option number B. Question number 21. Unit of discharge is 
ऑप्शन ए इज न्यूटन पर सेकेंड ऑप्शन बी इज क्यूसिक ऑप्शन सी इज मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड ऑप्शन डी इज पासकल वी नो दैट डिस्चार्ज ऑफ अ फ्लोड इज इक्वल टू द वॉल्यूम ऑफ फ्लोड पासिंग पर यूनिट टाइम वी मेजर द वॉल्यूम इन क्यूबिक मीटर एंड द टाइम इन सेकेंड क्यूबिक मीटर पर सेकेंड इज कार क्यूबिक इन एफ पी एस सिस्टम द वॉल्यूम कैन बी मेजर इन क्यूबिक फीड डिवाइडेड बाई सेकेंड क्यूबिक फीड डिवाइड बाई सेकेंड इज कार क्यूसिक न्यूटन पर सेकेंड इज इज नॉट द यूनिट ऑफ डिस्चार्ज मीटर पर सेकेंड इज नॉट द यूनिट ऑफ डिस्चार्ज पासकल इज द यूनिट ऑफ प्रेशर नॉट डिस्चार्ज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू इट इज गिवन दैट अ ग्रेविटी डेम रिजिस्ट वाटर प्रेशर ड्यू टू इट्स ऑप्शन ए इज हाइट ऑप्शन बी इज टॉप वेट ऑप्शन सी इज वेट ऑप्शन डी इज प्रेशर द ग्रेविटी डेम इज अ डेम कॉन्स्ट्रक्टेड फ्रॉम अ कॉन्क्रीट और स्टोन मिशनरी एंड डिजाइन टू होल्ड बैक वाटर बाई यूजिंग ओनली इट्स वेट सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज वेट ऑफ द डेम ऑप्शन नंबर सी क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री इट इज गिवन दैट द काइनेटिक एनर्जी पोजिस बाई अ लिक्विड पार्टिकल इज ड्यू टू एड्स पोजिशन ऑप्शन बी इज वेलासिटी ऑप्शन सी इज प्रेशर एंड ऑप्शन डी इज डिस्चार्ज Direct the kinetic energy of mass when moving with a velocity is equal to half mass of the particle multiplied by the velocity square. The correct option is option number B. Question number twenty-four. It is given that one gallon is equal to dash liters. Option A is ten. Option B is six point two five. Option C is four point five, and option D is. 3.75 the us liquid gallon is a unit of a fluid volume equal to 3.785412 liters the correct option is option number d 3.75 liters question number 25 it is given that the property of a material by virtue of which it disappear the deformation after the removal of external load is called option a is plasticity option b is elasticity option c is rigidity and option d is toughness the correct option is option number b when the load is removed from the material it's regain its original position this property of a material is called the plasticity question number 26 it is given that in frame structure building the wall play the role of option a is load wall option b is partition wall Option C is shear walls and D is empty wall. In frame structure building in which the weight is carried by the skeletal frame, a frame structure is a structure having a combination of beams, columns and slabs to resist the vertical or lateral load. The wall of the structure is non-load bearing and is act as a partition wall. The correct option is option number C. It is a non-load bearing wall. and just use for a partition purpose the correct option is option number c